you coming out on tonight. We are going to receive now our man of God for the hour. Let's receive Dr. Brian Mosley. Good evening, everybody. Let's celebrate the leader of this great church, Bishop Carl Van and his lovely wife. Come on, give her a great big hand. Reverend Mrs. Van, and just wave at somebody and tell them I'm somebody too. Amen. Father, we thank you again for this time of spiritual quest, spiritual renewal in the body of Christ. And we thank you. We don't have to ask you to come in. You are already here. We sense your presence and we extol you. We lift you up. Come on, let's lift him up. Lift him up. Come on. Magnify him. For he's worthy. Come on. Worthy is the lamb. Oh, hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't wait on me. Just go ahead. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yes. We can sense that spirit of gratitude. Ah, uh, yes. God has been giving us word for this house and um, I want you to know how blessed you are oh how many know you're blessed you may be seated Isaiah chapter 40 and um, hallelujah hallelujah great singing around here. Give yourselves a great big hand. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to ask the Lord to come in. He's here. <clears throat> the old song says, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peace for sure, very deeply stayed within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despair and cry from the waters he lifted me now safe am I love lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help, I said, love lifted me. Love lifted me. What about you? Love lifted me. When nothing else could help, Tell two people, love lifted, lifted me. God sent his son. Oh, his son gave his life when nothing else could help. Son, I said the son gave his life. Oh, the son, he gave his, his life. Oh, the son gave his life. We gave his life. 
nothing else could help. Son, he gave his, he gave his life. Tell somebody, love lifted me. Oh, I said, love. I said, love, love lived in me. Well, nothing else could help. I said, love, I said, love, God so loved, he lived in me. I said, love. He lifted me. Ah, oh, love. I'm getting happy right now. Lifted me. Tell somebody. When uh, nothing else could help. Love. Love. Somebody out there in America loves somebody abroad. Loves. He lived in. He lived in me. Yes. I can I get somebody hollering? You crossed over. Yes, sir, you made it. Tell your neighbor I made it. I had a hard fight, but I made it. Before you sit down, everybody can testify and tell somebody, I've been through the storm and the rain, but I made it. I've had heartaches and I've had pains, but I made it. The devil is mad. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to keep him mad. He lost a soul that he thought he had. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tell your neighbor. I, 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 I made it. I've been through the storm and the rain. But I. I made it I've had heartaches I've had to wipe my eyes Come on somebody But I made it Because my confidence Is in the reality That he is a reliable Yeah I heard you just a few moments say that God is reliable. Everything else is unreliable. But the difference between God and us, he's got a track record. He's been there when I couldn't keep myself. You told me to lean on him. Yes, sir, because he's a strong tower. I've had heartache. I've had pain. I've had disappointment. I've, I've listened. I've eaten more days than I've been hungry. I've had shelter more days than I've been homeless. 
I've been up more days than I've been down. Tell your neighbor, oh, I made it. I've been through the storm and the rain. Tell your neighbor, I made it. You better tell me to sit down. The devil is my hand. Tell somebody I'm going to keep him mad. He lost the soul. He lost the soul that he thought he had. Tell your neighbor, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm, on, I'm not going to let y'all do this to me. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. Tell your neighbor, I'm encouraged. Ooh. Isaiah 40, first verse. How? Hallelujah. You ought to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, according to man, according to statistics, somebody's not supposed to be alive. But you know what? You can depend on God. Isn't that what you said today? You can depend on God. I want to talk from the subject in the meantime. In the meantime, what to do while you're waiting? He said, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith the Lord. I believe that God will give you strength in the meantime. Winston Churchill, who led Britain to a great victory, and World War II was in fact defeated in 1945. In the aftermath, his wife, Clementine, hoping to console her husband, suggested that uh, the affair was just a blessing in disguise, to which Churchill responded by saying, if so, the blessing is well disguised. <laughs> Have you ever felt like that in your life and in your time and in your ministry? Keep on going to bed and waking up. Keep on waking up. Live a little longer. Life inevitably confronts a lot of us with continued dangers, toils, and snares. The vicissitudes of life. It just comes with the territory. Uh, think it not strange concerning these fiery dogs, these moments when we are prone to look up and wonder what good can come out of this. Uh, these closing verses, if you have your Bible in Isaiah 40, offers great comfort for those uh, difficult times and, uh, 
And then in Isaiah 40, we see a turning point uh, in Isaiah's prophecy. It's neatly divided, if you will, into two sections. Chapter 1 through 39 uh, warns of God's impending judgment uh, and God's to, uh, on God's uh, stubborn, rebellious people. However, um, by the time the reader gets to chapter 40, there's a new section here, and it's assumed, it's assumed that Israel has been defeated and its armies have been overtaken and the city of Jerusalem has been captured. But Isaiah has been sent to the people of God with a new message in verses 1 and 2, Comfort ye, he comfort ye. Then here in Isaiah 40, the prophet extends the comfort uh, to this weary and troubled people, promising them, promising them a future, promising deliverance uh, from the mighty hand of God. And you and I read, as we read, there are illusions of ultimate victory for the people of God. And we are expecting our king to come. Oh, yeah. Imminent return. And when one gets to the conclusion of Isaiah 40, there still seems to be this dilemma. And uh, the question uh, is, what are these uh, 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 weak and weary pe people to do in the meantime? And I want to make it applicable to you because somebody is waiting on their deliverance in the meantime. What to do while I'm between blessings. Somebody just come out of one and going into another one. But you're in the meantime. You're in, but it's a long way off for some. And uh, in the meantime, somebody say in the meantime. And these closing verses offer hope for the meantime. Now, some, we get caught in the meantime. Sometimes we get caught off guard. And, and the message uh, suggests, as I'm reading, that God will give you strength if you trust him in, in your time of weakness. Tarachi, in the Hebrew, in the meantime, these words were uttered while the people of God waited on the Messiah to come. And again, those of us, we believe he will come. And, um, and also, uh, there's benefit from these words while we wait on him. In these times, uh, these are the times that try men's souls, where there are challenges and troubles that even now have reached beyond pandemic proportions, here and abroad. Uh, but uh, we walk with the Lord in the light of his word. Uh, we, are, we are not worried about who shot JR. We're not worried about that. We're not worried about the have and the have nots. Uh, we're not worried about a scandal. Because we have the guiding light. And, and the guiding light keeps you as the world turns. You only got one life to live and you got to do that one day at a time. And if you're not careful, the doctor will get you. And you'll end up in general hospital with all of your children. There are uncertainties, but tell somebody, I'm certain of this, that God is real. He reigns. He's supreme. He's the utmost. He's the topmost. And oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All you, all you have to do is remember what you heard this afternoon, that you can depend on him. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of folk that you can't depend on. And uh, you, you put your trust in people, and, and, and they let you down. And they will let you down. Sometimes They don't mean it intentional, uh, but uh, they can't come through. 
But how many know that God has been there through the pandemic? And even if there comes another, the variance and from one thing after the other, and yet God is sitting there saying, I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm with you. And how many are confident that, that, that we uh, know that he's with us? You know, once you start reading the Bible and become a child of God, uh, you know, uh, and you follow Jesus, it's not always going to be euphoria. I don't know what Bible we're reading out of. Uh, uh, and, and, and the one, and, and it's not going to be happy ever after all the time, but uh, with patience possess. That's right, patience. Yeah, let patience have her. That's right, that's right. I said her. That's what the book said. Oh, come on, brother. You, you, your wife can handle that now because she's in the book. That's the only woman that you can have is patience. And wife don't get no attitude because she knows she's going to need patience to deal with you. And you're going to need patience to deal with her. That's why you don't get married without her. You got to have patience in the relationship. Miss Patience. But I'm not going to bother that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 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 however, it's, uh, I'm glad that, and the Bible said man is born of a woman of a few days and his days are full of trouble. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of some. I was waiting on you. We're, we're called to seek good uh, in these troublesome times we live in. We live under this clouded climate of brokenness and hopelessness uh, and, and, and mass hysteria. But the good news is we trust in the Lord. I won't be long. Now, some folk trust in chariots, others in horses. But, 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 but we will. Come on, somebody. That's what I'm trusting. That's who I'm to. God's strength is still available and sufficient and made perfect in your weakness. Yeah, the individual that follows Jesus has what I call Emma Dextra faith. Uh, that they can take trouble on one hand and, 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 and blessings on the other hand. And, and know that all things work together for the good of, I'm preaching, of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. Tell your neighbor, I have a purpose in my life. I'm not just living life, you know. And I'm, I'm living with a purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more to me than Rolex watches and Bugatti cars and come on, a penthouse. Come on. Uh -huh, of, uh, yeah, yeah, there's more to me than that. I have eternal life. I live with a purpose. I live with an assignment. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, God will give you strength in the meantime. Well, about, I'm about to close now. Let me suggest that God will give you strength in the meantime if you learn to worship him. You got to become a worshiper. And, and worship does not start here. Worship is when you open your eyes up in the morning. Uh -huh, 425 in the morning, you open one of those eyes up. You ought to start worshiping there. Yeah, on a stormy sea. Yeah, Jesus speaks to me. And the billows. <laughs> That's right, 5 o'clock in the morning, blessed quietness. Holy quietness. What a what? assurance in my soul. Yeah, you, how many have an assurance that everything is all right? Yeah, you got to remember to worship him. I will bless the Lord at all time. Bless the Lord at all time. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to bless him. I'm going to give him glory. Some of us, we were locked down, and we, we learned how to bless him in the house. Running from one room to the other. Had church in your kitchen. 
lifting them hands up and giving God praise. Because whatever you're going to be in here, it starts. Yeah, you can worship and nobody know, don't know you're worshiping. Come on, I keep telling you about slipping in food lying. You run into certain people that God has blessed. And, and after you listen to them, you start, well, I got something to say too. He's been great. I could say he's good. That's an understatement. But God is great. Yes, sir, he's the greatest thing going. I'm sticking with him. He stuck with me. When, when I was walking around not acknowledging him. You know, you can walk around in his world and not look up. Because you think you got it going on. So don't wait until something happens that you have to look up. But every day you ought to say, Lord, from whence cometh my help. Come on, come on. I'm getting in and out the car now. I'm crossing the 64. I'm on 301. From whence cometh my help. I'm going in for this exam. I'm from whence cometh my help. All of my help. I'm going to need you to guide the surgeon. I'm going to need you to take care of my children. I'm going to need you to walk with me. I come to the garden alone as a dude. Come on, somebody. He walks with me. How many have had him to walk with you? Through 20 and 19, 18 and 17. How many have had him to walk with you when you were a kid? The devil tried to kill you. Didn't want you to see 20 years old. But tell your neighbor, I made it. There were people that said it won't be nothing and she won't be nothing. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm here and they're gone. Yes, sir. I got something to talk about. Worship him. How many came on the worship? There's all kinds of ships in here. Relationships. Business partnerships. But you got to have worship. How many is on the worship? And when you're on the worship, somebody walking the deck will say, my hope is built. Yeah. Or nothing less. Come on, somebody. Just a few days ago, uh, the chain broke and, and people weren't getting their goods and products. Come on, they didn't have a chip for the cars. Come on, come on. You all know what went on out there in the sea. But the God that I serve, said, I'm going to take care of my children. And that's why you got up in the morning and you said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I think I'll have filet mignon. I shall not want. I think I'll have me some apple juice. I shall not want. I've got grapes in my refrigerator. Come on, I'm talking to you at that. I, I, I shall not want. Let me pull this pint of ice cream out and sit at the table. Come on here. I shall not want. Let me go in the closet and put on them shoes that I've been saving. Come on here. Come on. Come on. The devil tried to take your foot off. He tried to come on somebody. I shall not want. He leadeth me in paths. Okay, I'm going to leave y'all alone. Somebody say worship. Yeah, notice the graphic language as they register the complaint, though, against a God. They felt God was hiding from them and disregarding them. Israel is saying, if you know the story, uh, is this, uh, what is this all about? They are complaining. Uh, have you ever heard people complaining? Uh -huh, just complaining to people that can't even help them. Uh -huh. You and I need him. Uh, we need to know that, that he is with us. And they were saying, where is he? I'm, I'm hearing from everybody else, but, but, but where is he? Where is God? This is the story. Here's the backdrop. Uh, we need help. And, and this is how they felt. Interesting that all of us at one time or other, we get in our flesh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is God? If God was here, I wouldn't be going through all this stuff. Yeah, if you're honest, your mind, come on, you got to watch your mind. Come on, somebody. There are people that ball their fists up and go like that to God. You know I'm talking, right? 
Now, if there was a God, then why is there so many people hungry? I, I, those kind of conversations, if you want an answer, but we're not going to argue and go be combative, I can tell you why there's hunger. Come on, somebody. But I want you to know some God's not the problem. Come on, somebody. God didn't start hunger. That's man's stuff. Come on, somebody. Uh, yes, sir. He, he supplied. He's, he's the great supplier. There's food. That I don't know what chain you're arguing about. The food chain, the work chain, and all that. Let me tell you something. Everything is the same according to God. It's just that we need to step up. And we need to acknowledge God. And we sing, God bless America. God saying, no, I bless America. What America needs to do is bless me. And stop dumping all this food behind the restaurant. You want to know what hunger is? It don't start with God. It starts with us. You order stuff that you don't even eat. Come on, somebody. I'm not going to mess with y'all. Clothes that you'll never fit again. I don't care how you pray. You know good and well, girl, you ain't 17 no more. Take that dress out there and give it to somebody. Come on, brother, talk to me. Come on, you walking around here with a jersey that's, come on, come on, leave it alone. Give it to that boy that needs one. We complain. Come on, on diets and no, we're not going to lose any weight. We on it for three weeks. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh, it's all right. Go ahead and do what you want to do. I ain't going to mess with you. Come on, but you got to get some discipline. Come on, you, you know, if you're going to do it, you got to start with here. You got to start with here. Yeah, yeah. You didn't get like you are overnight. Didn't nobody put a gun to your head and say, eat this Hershey bar? I've never seen nobody. Come on, say stop right there. Come on, make you eat a Snickers bar. Uh-huh, talking about I'm on break and, and get a Snickers bar and a Coca-Cola. What kind of break is that? And the apple is sitting over there saying, eat me. At least you'll stay out of the doctor's office. The strawberry is saying, eat me. And I'll take care of your blood. The berry, the br come on here, the raspberry. The, the broccoli is talking and saying, please pick me up. I, I want to go home with you. But no, you down the aisle where all the goodies are at. Walk down the aisle in food line and sugar is going like this. And then you're talking about love handles. Talking about I can't fit it no more. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not messing with y'all. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We won't blame God. Then we won't get mad with the devil. I bind this stomach. In the name of Jesus. Come on out. Well, you're going to need the stomach. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We want to we wanna blame everybody and not take responsibility. We want to blame social media. It's you. Social media can't do any more than you let it. Get mad if you want. They're going to kick the thing, throw the dog on what, the, the, the thing on the floor. It goes like this. I'm in trouble because of you. know it's because of you. Didn't nobody tell you to take a picture? Didn't nobody tell you to lie to your wife? She asked you when you came home, where you been? Well, I, 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 you know, I was just coming back. See, they got it set up now where these pictures are circulating. Conversation, you got to be careful. Come on here. That, don't blame. Social media is social media. Discipline yourself. This ought to be a month that you've let kids say, you know what, we're consecrating, and so I'm going to lay back a little bit. Talk to me, somebody. You getting mad at Candy Crunch. Come on, every minute you're going like this. Come on, don't get mad at Candy Crunch. It's you. I want to pray more. I want to pray. You praying and pray, going like this too. Come on, somebody. But, but, but listen, uh, Isaiah, interesting, Isaiah acknowledges how they felt, but he doesn't affirm how they feel. I'm going to go back over that. He, 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 how they felt, but he doesn't affirm how they feel. And at uh, the time, or at the same time, he uh, recognizes and, and, and he rebukes them at the same time. He says, what are you talking about? Why are you saying and acting like the most high is disregarding you? See, and, and, and here he says in verse 38, uh, listen to him, have you not known? 
Have you not heard the everlasting God? Come on, it's clearer from verse 28. If you have your Bibles, the prophetic tone is argumentative here, I see. He doesn't say, do you know or have you heard? But he says, have you not known? Do you not know? See, before Isaiah tells them uh, who uh, to trust, he, uh, and then here you hear, he says, before I tell you what I'm about to tell you, I'm going to tell you that what I'm about to tell you is not new news. These are things you have already known about God, the Most High, by instruction and experience. I'm not here to, to impart revelation, listen to him, but I'm here to invoke recollection. Come on, let's get deep here. These are things about God that you should already know. Uh, God is not a distant or hiding. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He didn't bring you and drop you off. The problem in the text is not that God has moved, but the problem is that you are looking in the wrong place. Come on, let's do this Bible thing right here. Uh -huh, we're looking in the wrong place. You need to look up. Come on, somebody, and remind yourself of who God is. Don't get him twisted with some Superman or a Spider-Man. Talk to me. Already made a billion dollars all over the world. Lord, have mercy. What about a tithe off of that for the church? Come on, somebody. A man crawling, a, a Spider-Man crawling up, making that kind of money. And God can't even get us to take care of his... Okay, come on. I'm, I'm not going to leave you all alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't going to stay there too long because they get in trouble. Don't get me in trouble up here now. And, and come on, who God is, he's eternal. Come on, he's eternal. Yeah, yeah, everlasting. Everlasting God. He is not confined to schedules and calendars and, and dates and moments. God lives in the eternal now. Oh, yeah, I'm almost finished. In the moment. God's in the moment right now. He's in the moment. What, whatever you're going through, God's in there with you. Come on, come on, come on. He's a very present help. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. Don't start nothing in here. He's a present help. I'm finishing. A present help from everlasting to everlasting. Now you do the math. You figure it out. But you're finite. You can't figure that out, huh? From everlasting to everlasting. Come on here. There's so much. It's just like going to the beach. The ocean. Take something and take the water out. Look back. It hasn't even hurt the ocean. God, you can't run out of God. The, 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 this building cannot hold all of God. And yet God is in the building. And God is in you. And then God is outside the building. So why are you saying, Lord, come in when he's already here? You don't have to send God to, to the hospital. He said, I'm there. Come on here, somebody. All I want you to do is acknowledge where I am. Very present help. Yes. You are God from eternity. Past. He was God, and he is. You have to know something about his business. Yeah, if you know his business, then you know his business. Then you know his I am this. Oh, yeah, he's our helper. Grandma used to say he's, he helped me. Amen. I looked at it, I said, what do you mean? She said, he, he hope you, baby. Those folk can tell you some stories. She come on in here and sit down. Let me tell you what he can do. When, they, when I needed him the most, she ain't got a tooth in her mouth. She said, when I needed him the most, 57 years ago, he stopped by my house. You want to have church? Go to the nursing home and sit there with Essie, Miss, Miss Beulah May, Miss Flossie. Y'all don't know nothing about Flossie. Emma Lou, Claire Bell. Ain't nobody naming nobody Clarabelle no more. But all the Clarabelles I know are sweet. And they can make good cake. Come on here. Uh-huh, Hattie. Hattie can fry some chicken. 
And she, while she's frying it, she'll tell you, he died a chicken, died that you might live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm almost finished now. God, God, God from uh, uh, He's God and He is and still God alone. And oh, my God, He'll be God in my future from everlasting to everlasting. And what is the point, Mosley? God's timing is perfect. He's on time. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. And wait a minute, the girl said, ow! How many know he's on time? <laughs> too, 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 too. N uh, not too early or late. Not in, come on. Uh, see, God has his own vocabulary. He shows up for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego while uh, they were in the furnace. He showed up after Lazarus was dead four days. I'm just putting gravy on this. The situation was stinking. You know how that is, but it was still uh, the right time. Come on here. You can't hurry God, but you can't hurry God. You know, they used to sing that years ago. You can't hurry God. No, you just got to wait. You got to trust him and give him time, no matter how long. He's a God, you can't hurry. He'll be there, don't you worry. Uh, don't you, he may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You got to tell your neighbor, you got to trust him and give him time. But no, you got, you need time. Hallelujah. He's a God that you can't hurry. Talking about hurry up. He said, I'm already here. He's sovereign. He's the creator of the ends of the earth. And if you believe Genesis 1 and 1, you won't have a problem believing the rest of the book. Somebody tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I believe God. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the creator. And everything comes from him. And, uh, and I'm closing here. Uh, the assumption is the one who creates a thing uh, is, is greater than the thing that he creates. And he reigns over it. This is his world, not just poetry. He doesn't just say he creates the end, but he created the end of the earth. Now I want you to start chart it. Now I want you to start walking until you get to the end and see if you can get to the end of it. <laughs> They think they're doing something going up in space, but I got news for them. God is there. Yes, sir. Tell your neighbor he's there. He's everywhere. Oh, Lord, my God, how an awesome wonder. Considering all the world thy hands have made. I see the what? And I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout. The universe display. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then sings my song, my Savior, God to thee. In the meantime, you can trust him at all times, all places. Verse 28, I'm close. He affirms God's omnipotence by saying uh, what God can't do. He does not grow weary. Preach now. He does not grow faint. Some folk trust in chariots. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I Consider he never faints. He always was. His understanding is unsearchable. Come on. He didn't graduate from Harvard in 1636. Come on, somebody. But uh, the text says he is unsearchable. So he's pre-Howard and he's pre-Morgan State. He's pre-Morehouse. Our God is all wise. Tell your neighbor he's all wise. And, and, and Jesus asked Philip, uh, uh, when, when, when uh, will we find bread for these to eat? And this he asked to test Philip, for he knew. What he's going to do. Look at some and say, neighbor, God knows what he's going to do. He knows what he's going to do with this pandemic, too. 
Come on, somebody. This is all about trusting him. He said, it's here now, so you're going to have to trust me. You're going to have to put your confidence in me. Yes, sir. God works in mysterious ways. His wonders to perform. Plants his feet on the, oh, come on, somebody. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm closing with this. God knows what he's going to do. But in the meantime, you ought to lift your hands uh, in the sanctuary. And out there, in the meantime, you ought to have a te tehila. In the meantime, you ought to have a Shabbat. In the meantime, while you're dealing with interruption, station identification, in the meantime, you ought to shout. Ha, ha, ha. Lift up your head and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Tell your neighbor, in the meantime, you ought to wave your hand. Yes, sir. In the meantime, you ought to tell everybody that the Lord is good. In the meantime, you ought to run up and down the aisle. You ought to tell America that my faith is in God. In the meantime, you ought to tell somebody he's bred in a starving land. In the meantime, while everyone's complaining, blessed is the man. Y'all ought to tell me to shut up. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But in the meantime, my delight, yes, is in the law of the Lord. And in the law, I'm going to meditate. Yes. In the meantime, Isaiah 54 and 17. In the meantime, no weapon. No. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. And every, you ought to tell me to be quiet. And every tongue that rises up, God, yeah, yeah, will bring it in to tell somebody, tell your neighbor, tell the mailman, UPS, Federal Express, American Express. In the meantime, yeah, I'm gonna wait. Don't make me do this up in here. I'm, I'm going to wait. Woo! I'm going to wait. The wind may blow, but I'm going to wait. The sun, yes, sir, may refuse to shine, but I'm going to wait. The storm will pass over. But I'm resting on a reliable, I'm resting on God. In the meantime, Ephesians 3, verse 20. Are you ready? Don't fool me now. Are you ready? Now on the hymn. Now under him, Lord, I'm getting happy right now. Now under him, close my account. Now under him, I'm going to pay my bills. Now under him, go look at three people and say, name them. Now, under him, water. now, now, 
Now Under him ah! Ah! You didn't know I sing opera? Him who is say he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. He's able. Come here, son. He's able, he's able. 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 He's able to save, able to deliver. He's able to give you a breakthrough. He's able, he's able. about to give you grace for some new thing. There's some new things coming. There's some new things coming. Let me tell you what he said. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning and God said, what I'm going to do in January and February, I decided in, in December. Oh, you're going to get it now. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Calendar year closed. Hallelujah. Uh, and uh, for some individuals, you know, they did their business stuff and got their paperwork finished. But grace is about to escort you into something new. God's getting ready to walk you in. When we drove up, the Lord said, when we were coming in, the Lord said, I'm giving it all to him. Woo, Hallelujah. This is your last struggle now. My, my, my. Something's about to break. Tell your neighbor there's some grace for new things. Mm. And, and we need grace according to Hebrews 4 and 16. Uh, somebody read that for me real quick. I'm ministering. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, let us come boldly. To what? And what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. God said, I'm going to give you. It's time for you to move and make your move now. I'm going to give you the space of 32 months. Over three years, it's over three years, you ought to have enough by that time. But it's going to happen fast. This next move is going to happen fast for what you're about to, come on somebody, obtain all the deeds. I want somebody to walk around here and say, oh!
on the deep. God got in your prayer business. It's recorded. He got in your prayer business when you told God. And I said it the other day, and the Lord reminded me and said, I want to do this before a certain age. I want to do it so you can look at it and say, look what God has done. Take your shoe off and put your foot down. In the Bible, didn't say your shoe. He said, put your foot, the sole of your foot. You got to put your foot down in that land. Hallelujah. And he said, I'm going to give you the rest of it. Ah. Hallelujah. Do what you want to do with it. But I'm gonna, you're going to have control over this highway. Whoa. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. I heard the sound of excavation behind this wall. Woo! I heard the sound of bulldozers. Because you already saw what God wants. My, my, my. Just watch God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The other three. Uh-oh. Somebody get up on one foot and say the other three pieces. about to get the whole lot because the Lord said it was broken up in lots I don't know the business but the Lord, I haven't known I haven't seen no survey but the Lord said when I walked on this pulpit he said the lots are about to get broken up he said it's been surveyed look at your neighbor and say neighbor I know you God's talking this man ain't in our business he ain't seen no Surveys, he don't know. So God's talking. Mm -hmm. Expansion. He said, I'm, I'm going to bless you because I can trust you. I can trust you. I want God to drop $10 million on this house. He said, stop believing for a million. Stop. Believe for me. Believe everything. Glory. Glory. I'm going to expand your social media. I'm going to expand it to the point that even those online want to give it. They want to be a part of the project. Capital campaign. Oh. Woo. Hallelujah. And do you know when the blessing comes to this house and when it hits the bishop, do you understand when it starts trickling down? You ought to do the trickle down thing. Woo. You can't see what's new when you're dwelling on the old. When you get home, read that Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Better is a thing, the end of a thing. And God is not finished. Some of you have folded your tent. Huh. That's why God has sent me to tell you, get rid. better is the end. Mm. Everything is right here in the verse. The only thing you need is patience now. All I, come on, I hear somebody out there saying, Lord, all I need is patience in the meantime. And it's not the end until you've seen better. better.
better. Better. It's about to get a whole lot better. How many can you how many can believe for better in here? Woo! Mm. How much more do you need? Because that's what we're about to believe for. Just heard the first the first check being deposited in your account. How long does it take for a million dollars to be transferred into your account? Woo! Doesn't take that long. And then you know why God's going to bless you? Because when he gave you the hundred, you were doing right by that. So he said, I can trust you. Woo. See, the first quarter gets the boost on, listen, on how things ended in the last quarter. Everybody in here right now, woo, get prepared because it's going to happen. And you're going to be giving testimonies of people that have gone and the, even the doctor is going to say, I know we examined you in 2020. We have the charts and yet we can't even find the growth. We can't even find, my God. So what we're going to do, uh-huh, uh-huh. We're going to send you to another hot, uh-huh, uh-huh. For what? You said it wasn't on this MRI, so where is it at? I don't know. I know God did something. Leave God. Don't let anybody put anything on you. You go right back to the word. That's what the MRI says. But I believe the report. You're going to get your stuff together. You're going to have more money than month. You're going to manage what God gives you. It's not going to be a year like, come on here, but you will find yourself with extra. Lord, I done took care of your work and I got extra. So save it. Put it in. Let it work for you. Come on, but I don't know what to do with it. Let the money work now. You done took care of God's business. I want everyone in this house, the house to be paid off. Paid off. Put the deed in the safe deposit box. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking right now over some stuff out there while I'm talking. Glory, glory, glory. Woo, hallelujah. That's how close you are. Settlement is coming. Oh, yeah, 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 settlement. What are you going to do when you're paid up until May? on utilities and rent. Glory. What are you going to do when you get the email that says your loan was forgiven for school? I, everyone that's got a school, a student loan that's over your head, you need to start dancing because I want... Yeah. Woo. Now, 
Father, I thank you for those. If you're here without Christ in your life, I want you to know he's able to save you. And I pray now, those online, out there in the Athenio, those out there in their homes, Lord, save and deliver them. Satan, I break the back of sickness, disease, and poverty. I break the back of divination, satanic worship. I break the back off of our young people and give them their minds back. Loose! Deliver right now. In the sanctuary, if you're not saved, Lord, save them now. Deliver them right now. Deliver them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, deliver them now. Deliver them now. Deliver them now. Any special request. Sometimes we come and, and listen. Sometimes, you know, and, and when, when it's a real prophetic gift, many times you don't have personal prophecy to give people. Uh -huh, because we're not junkies. We're not coming to church just to hear something. I want you to understand something. This is serious. This is not a psychic show. Hallelujah. I came there two days. He ain't said nothing to me. I had a lady met me in the mall someplace years ago. She said, you know, I was through with you. I said, ma'am? She said, I was through with you. I came three nights to your meeting somewhere. I said, where was it at? She said, I don't know, but I know one thing. I was through with you, man. I said, well, pray. I'm going to pray for you. Yeah, you pray for me because you didn't say nothing to me. You walked by me and didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. Well, I'm sorry. She said, well, come on, put your hands on me now. Come on, somebody. I, and, and then I've got people, Bishop, I, in ministering. I, one lady said, when I saw you coming, I ducked. I said, why? She said, oh, no, I didn't want you near me. Come on, somebody. But God's presence, it won't hurt you. It'll bless you. It'll help you. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. We spent time praying for people today. Hallelujah. Asking God to deliver them. Hallelujah. I call you blessed right now. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. Hallelujah. Take your wallet and pocketbook out and hold it up. I call you blessed. If it's in your, if it's in your phone, you got a wallet in the phone now, they tell me. Hold it up, whatever it is. Hallelujah. I need envelopes. Praise God. Who has the envelopes? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. I call you rich. I call you out of debt. I call you a money magnet. A distribution center. I speak it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak your mortgage down. Uh -huh. I, I, I speak over your payments every month that they will be reduced. I speak over Wells Fargo. Right now, I speak, hallelujah, I speak over whatever credit union it is, that, that, that God will give you favor, everyone, hallelujah, bow your heads, and we're going to do something in here. The Lord said, ask everyone, not just a particular group of people, but he said, everyone tonight, plan $100. How many believe this is a good place to plant? Let me see your hands up. Hallelujah. And, and, and I believe God. I believe God. Somebody said, well, that's all I have. That's a seed. That's a seed. You don't spend that. You sow that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you going to do when, like I said, all your stuff is paid for? How, how are you going to carry on then? Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, we speak increase. And, and, and we call it done. Every person in the house, I want you to come up here and get an envelope and start sewing in this house because something is about to break. If you heard me, come on right now. All over the building, they're standing there. You can give them the envelope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout 100. And if you're holding an envelope from a previous night and you said, well, brother, I wanted to sew for the business. Come to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need to pray over your business. Hallelujah, hallelujah, because he's enlarging your territory. Praise God, hallelujah. Come on, write to me, hallelujah. Everyone else that's in the house, praise God. Everyone else 
that's in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We speak over business right now. Father, we thank you for it. Everything and it's done. Start rejoicing right now. Hallelujah. That's business. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's the business right there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Worship. Now, once you've finished your envelope, those of you online or wherever you're at, you can join. And like the young lady said, soft money, soft money. If you have that, come on right now. Because God's going to bless anyway. Oh, he's going to take care of business. When your envelope is prepared, you can come and drop it inside. You don't have to wait on a line or anything. You can come. Praise God. That's right. Some are giving by phone. I see that. Some have already given. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor next to you that I'm a millionaire in the making. Oh, you ought to say it like you mean it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for increase. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. So, so I want three people to walk around the building and say increase. Yeah, say it like you mean it. Uh, it takes the foolish things to confound the white. Increase! Addresses are changing right now. Hallelujah. I see moving trucks. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. That's right. Increase. Increase. Hallelujah. 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 And once you've sown your seed, stand on your feet and start rejoicing. Come on. Stand on your feet and start rejoicing.